A statement from Pandora. Pandora aims to transform the market for diamond jewelry with more affordable products and greatly reduce CO2 emissions. Pandora no longer uses mined diamonds. Now this is big. The global jewelry market is estimated to be $86 billion and a big player like Pandora moving out of mined diamonds is significant. Now the second promise, from the company is that they are only going to work with renewable energy and that is everything from cutting, polishing, setting, everything in the manufacturing process is going to be done with that. That includes only using 100% recycled gold and recycled silver. This has been publicly stated by Pandora. Pandora's lab grown diamonds also have a carbon footprint of 8.17 kilograms of CO2 per, per carat. That is 5% of what it takes to mine an actual diamond from the ground. So Pandora are leading quite far forward with CO2 and being environmentally conscious and making it very clear to their demographic and their target market too. Now for perspective, if all diamonds were mined with the same low carbon footprint as Pandora's lab created diamonds, it would save more than 6 million tons of CO2 per year. This for perspective is the equivalent of if every car in New York City was replaced with an electric car. So this is big. And another promise that they have made and publicly stated too, is that they will only use 100% recycled silver and gold by 2025. That is their deadline. And they haven't even made a promise to say we're estimating by 2025. They have listed on the website that it's gonna happen by 2025. Now Pandora, they're taking a very big step in this direction and many jewelry brands, and that many other jewelry brands are not leading in this direction with the environment in the front of their mind. At least not as, any, not as many other jewelry brands that are as big of a player as Pandora is. So whether you believe or care about CO2 emissions or not, this is something that so many more people might even bring up to you too because face it or not, we're becoming more environmentally French, uh, uh, and more environmentally conscious and more people around the world care about this subject. And the final thing you need to know is innovation, just like in every industry, it happens. So you really need to be able to keep yourself sharp. And if you're working within the luxury goods industry and maybe you don't sell lab growing diamonds, what I would recommend next then is watching this video that you see here on the screen that gives you 30 important tips that jewelry salespeople need to know. This way they can stay on the top of their game and on the top of their market.